Okay, in today's lesson, we're going to learn how to add a new contact into our CRM software LeapPro system. Once you've logged into LeapPro, go ahead and on the left-hand side, click on Contacts. Once the window is open, you can come up here on the left-hand side and click on Add Contact, the little plus sign. It'll open up the contact card where you can put in a personal photo of somebody if you wanted to or a logo. Um, you'll put their name in, their email address, their phone number. You can add multiple phone numbers if you need to, and you can select which one it is right here. We'll just go mobile. Once you've added their email address and phone number in the system, you will be able to text message them. You'll be able to send emails to them as well right from the system. You're going to want to select whether they're a lead or if they're already existing customer. So if you're loading an existing customer base, a database, this is what you would select. If the customer has chosen not to be uh, text message or emailed, you can select if they want to be on a do not disturb list. This also works like if uh, you are text messaging them or emailing them and they re respond stop. Um, to either their email or text, it will automatically mark this off for them in the system so that next time you run a campaign, uh, say it's a text message one and they're in a workflow, they would not be contacted. And then you'll hit save. This will open up the contact card and you will see over here on the left hand side, you're going to have your contact fields, which you can add more stuff in here as well, and we can get into that in a later video, but you can customize it. Or if you have them coming off a forum from your website or a funnel page and it's customized, all this information can be changed. So for example, if somebody, if you're requesting somebody to upload a, vid, a photo of their ID or a, let's say a bill, a utility bill, once they've up uploaded that from the form, it automatically shows up in this window right here, okay? Um, you can add custom fields in here and change it all around. Um, once you're in for the contact, there's a few features that it's really important that you learn how to use to help benefit you. One over here on the right-hand side is notes. So you can add a customer note just by simply Clicking on the add sign right here. And you hit save and it will put the note in here, the time, the date, and by who it was from. So if I have created a note in here and somebody else in the company logs into this customer's file, they will see the notes, be able to read them, and then they can put their own notes in the system as well. Okay. Now, the difference between notes and tasks, notes, you're just putting records on the customer's account. So you can go back and see what conversations you've had with them. A task would be simply that if I want to select task and let's say I wanted to title, let's say call back them, call back at a certain time. So call back description, or let's say you're calling it back about a quote you can assign it to a salesperson, okay, in your organization, and you can select the due date on when that is. So the time and date, and hit save, and it will create a, t a task for them, and that person who logs into the system will see their task uh, feature, and we'll show you that an at another stage here in just a moment. If that customer schedules an appointment, you can click right here where it says appointment, and you can add an appointment, and this will actually go onto your calendars, but you'll select a time slot for them, the date, time, and, and whatnot for the appointment customer and your sales staff. The good thing about that is that when the appointment does come up, there are auto reminders in the system to let your customer know, just like if you were to go to the dentist, it will send them a text message and say, hey, Mr. Johnson, you have a, an appointment here at the uh, office at two o'clock with Joe. It'll also send them an email as well, uh, if you choose to. But the biggest features that you're gonna wanna learn is notes. It's very important for notes because it will come 
into play many, many times uh, during the sales process that you'll want to reflect back on the notes, conversations that you've had with a customer, especially if you've gotten a hundred, you know, leads in a week, it's real hard to manage unless you have notes of conversations you've had. And this window here on the screen, the SS, SMS is for uh, short messaging service, which is your text messaging. So now that I have the customer's phone number, I can simply text them, hello, or anything I want, and it will send them a text. If I want to send them an email, I can click on email. And there are some features in this that we will actually show you later on how to email your customer right from the customer's record. But there's some short snippets that you can actually set up that you've already done for templates. Okay, now I'll give you an example here. Let's say they're getting a quote. So this one is an example using a demo account that we have for snowmobile quotes for wraps. Click on the template and it will say, hi, Mr. Customer, and it will talk about the process for the quotes. You'll hit send and that will be emailed to the customer. So that is it for right now. We will show you some more features at a later date.